<clears throat> Today, I'm going to tell you the story of the Thousand Year Door. An awfully long time ago, in a strange and far off land, a big bustling town thrived. It was a town where all people lived very happy lives, and it was said that the town was very prosperous. But one day, tragedy befell this blessed place. A great cataclysm struck the town and its people. Darkness filled the skies and the or earth roared and shook. It was as if the very world had come to a violent end. And in but a single night, the town sank into the depths of the earth. <clears throat> Many moons rose and set. Stories of the town passed into the pages of fairy tales, and when the town's site no longer held relics of its past, people gathered at that spot and built a new town. But word soon spread among the people who moved in that an ancient city lay deep underground, and that a magnificent treasure rested there. Indeed. This is the tale of that fabled treasure of Rogueport. Yes, this is where it begins, in the sea town of Rogueport. The tale of the quest for that legendary treasure, and the Thousand Year Door, starts here. Finally, I have a minute without Toadsworth watching over me. He's so paranoid. I come all the way here on holiday, only to be stuck with Toadsworth! It's so stifling! Once in a while, I'd like the chance to look around on my own to see what I want. But, now that I'm doing it, all I see is that this town has a very, um, distinct flavor. Oh, Missy, Missy. Do you mean, me? Yes, you, Missy. Won't you buy something? I have a wide assortment of knickknacks and doodads. Oh, well... Um... Well, that's a pretty box. What's inside it? It is said that this box holds a map that shows where a true legendary treasure sleeps, but the box has a magic lock on it and will openly open for a pure and noble heart. As you can see, it won't so much as budge if one such as myself touches it. Oh... I know, if the box will open for you, Missy, then you may have whatever is inside. I am sure that whatever is in there would be no use to someone like me. So, Missy, take this box in your hands and see what happens. Um, alright. What's the harm? I'll try to open it. Hello, Internet! I'm Colorful Artie, and welcome to Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, the sequel to the original Paper Mario I played for the N64. And, holy cow, I am so excited to do this game! It has been a very long time since I've played this game, and I am incredibly, incredibly hyped to start again. I'm so freaking excited, you have no idea. So, backstory, Paper Mario Thousand Year Door... It's widely renowned to be an incredible game, and I learned later in life most people prefer this to the original. I personally like the original a bit more, but this game is still fantastic. And <laughs> I also was trying to figure out if I wanted to do just a regular old Let's Play, a 100% Let's Play, or a Double Pain Let's Play. I have decided on a 100% Let's Play. I might come back and do a Double Pain one later. But in the meantime, let's start a new game. Also, this has... An incredible soundtrack, much like the original. That's me, Artie. Yes. Saving settings, do not touch the memory card in slot A or the power button. Yes. So the tale begins. Well, gee, this looks familiar, doesn't it? Mail call! It's Paracarry! You remember him from the first game. It's Luigi! You probably don't remember him from the first game, since he really wasn't in it. Only a little bit. 
Hey bro, check it out! A letter from Princess Peach arrived for you! It's an embarrassing love letter, remember? I'll just read it to you, how's that sound? Bro, that's my private mail, come on! Ahem, now let's see here. Hello there, Mario. I am now on holiday, traveling in the Mushroom Kingdom. In my travels, I came into possession of a mystical map. A treasure map, actually. It was inside a box I got from an old merchant in a town called Rogueport. But since it would be too difficult for me to try and go find the treasure all by myself, I thought you could help me hunt for it. You will, of course, won't you? I've included the map with the, you, this letter, so please bring it with you when you come. I'll meet you at Rogueport. That means you must come. Peach. Yeah, Peach has got it. What do you know? It's true. There's a weathered old map in here with the letter. Check it out. Hmm, interesting. That's quite the map. And Mario just decides to go without our input. This game does get you into the nitty gritty parts, like, immediately. Unlike the first game where you have to attend the party of Princess Peach. Nope, just dive right in the game, which is awesome! And the graphics for this game still hold up, even nowadays. Like, it, there's, this is still incredible graphics. It's the prologue. A rogue's welcome. And you can see all your favorite characters. Mario, and Peach, and Bowser, and, uh... I don't know who that is. <laughs> We'll find out later, though. Excuse me, sir. Please wake up, sir. The town you'd been speaking of has come into view. Look, that's Rogueport. You see, we'll arrive shortly. Please prepare to disembark. Look at the smooth animation. I must apologize, sir. Our arrival was delayed just a bit by rough weather. Are you quite sure you want to disembark here? I did tell you all the sordid tales about Rogueport on our way here, did I not? What's that? I'm sorry? You say there's a princess waiting here for you? Is that so? Uh, of course, sir. Well, if that's what you think, then I won't stop you. But, uh, you be careful, sir. Don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> I, okay, I love much more in this game than in the original. Like, it really makes use of the fact that everything's made of paper. So, for those of you who don't know really much about Paper Mario, it's like an open-world kind of game. You can move any direction you want. You can jump. And one of my few complaints of this game... Oh, darn it. Don't jump in the water, because that happens. And that makes this Let's Play off to a great start, huh? Yeah, like, the one one of the few things that I don't like about this game, they took out the spin! I love the spin! Why did you take that out? Oi, welcome to Rogueport. Bit of a nasty place, eh? You got guts coming here. You look a bit green, so I have a wee bit of advice on me. Hit that save block to save. Because the thing about life is, you never know when you're going to kick the old bucket. Sure enough, the save blocks are back. Even if your game ends, you can continue at it from the last point you saved at. Yeah, it's just a save block, okay? Unfortunately, it takes a bit longer to save in this than in the N64 one, but that's just to be expected, because it's on CDs instead of cartridges. What do you want, pal? Huh? A princess in a pink dress? I ain't seen nothing like that. No, I remember a princess, though. Probably. Why do you want this chick anyway, pal? Owe you money? Or is she your girlfriend? Hey! What do you want? Get away from me, freak! Oh, come off it, you airhead. I know it's tough for you, but don't point dumb with me. I've seen you walking around town asking for information about the Crystal Stars. Well, now I'm doing the asking, so be a good girl and tell us what you know. Right. Now. Never! I don't have anything to say to you creeps. Ew. I suppose it wouldn't be right if a sassy little ass like you met with an untimely demise. Buh, buh, buh. Boys, we're talking taking this firebrand to our fortress. As you command, Lord Crump, we're on it. N no Stop right there, you weirdos! I'll scream! Really? Oh dear. 
<laughs> Out of the way, you scallywag. Move your ever-loving bones. I'm not really sure if that's the right voice. Blimey, a fight? Corkin. <laughs> Ain't nothing so fun as watching some poor bloke have it out with his missus, eh? Am I right, mate? Yikes, looks like trouble over there. Probably best not to get involved, huh? I wouldn't meddle with other people's problems in this town, even if I had an extra life. Oh, <laughs> this game's much more witty and hilarious than the original. What's going on here? Why could I go anywhere with smelly lunatics like you? <laughs> not likely. What? What do you think you're doing, chump? You think you can screw up my plans? Yeah, that's always something. Looks like I'm gonna have to give you a little taste of the old crop -a bomb And we're in our first fight already. Can't flee this fight. Battle time, Mr. Man! Just try to find a way to, uh, to beat this Freak of the Week, okay? Don't sweat the details, just jump on him and hit him with your hammer. That's right, we actually start with the hammer in this, unlike in the original. We also have items and tactics, which are, at this point, defend, which increases your defense a little bit. And, or we can run away, but we can't in this fight because it's special. And we have no items right now. Let's just jump on him. And we can also do the action commands from the beginning. We don't need the lucky star. So if we press A just before we touch him, or really at the exact moment we touch him, we'll get to jump again. Like that. Sweet! You know that hurt! Wow, I gotta say, you're tougher than you look! Keep it up and you'll beat him in no time! Once again, also, if you push A at just the right time during their attack, you will increase your defense for that attack, in which case, that dealt no damage. Now let's use the old hammer. Same way it works in the original game. Hold back until the light flashes, and then you release. You've got him on the ropes! Come on, keep wailing on him! I love the mini-boss music, it's so good. Yeah, so... Hold left until the star appears. Pretty simple. You did it! You did it! Yes! And you got star points! Yeah, I bet you know, but you get these fiends called star points when you win battles. When you get 100 points, you'll go up a level. Don't forget that, okay? And we get 9 star points! Buh, buh, buh. <laughs> okay, you got a couple decent shots in, I'll give you that. Dude, I wiped the floor with you. But, unfortunately for you, that means... It's go time! Oh, this doesn't look good. Punish him! Oh my. Quick, this way! Whew, what a bunch of loons! Let's just sneak out of here, what do you say? <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, we can't, okay. I was wondering if we could talk to him. Let's just scooch away nice and casual, like... Buh, huh? STOP! Where'd they go, huh? You, Johnson! Did you see them? Did anyone? <coughs> uh, crud! They bolted! Well, that's a weirdo. We'll be seeing him later in the game. Wow, mister! You totally saved me! Thanks! I have just got to give you a little reward. Oh, boy. My name's Goombella. I'm a student at the University of Goom. Nice to meet you. So, uh, who are you? Mario? Wait, you mean, like, that famous guy? Wow, I can't believe I met you here! Cool. Anyway, no offense, but it looks like you just rolled into town yourself, right? Me? I already hate it here! There are freaks and weirdos everywhere! It's nasty! I mean, I know the place is called Rogueport, so I should have expected it, but sheesh! I'd never come to a place like this if it weren't for some legendary treasure here. What? You're looking for the legendary treasure too? Seriously? Whoa, 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 bucko! What you got there? Check out the piantas in the background. Oh my gosh! Is, isn't that a treasure map? You have to tell me where you got that! Princess Peach? What? Great hoogly boogly if it isn't Master Mario! <laughs> Whoa. They're getting beat up in the background. Stay down, bro! 
to Boston's greetings. How's that road taste, punk? Are you okay? That hurt. Those jerks. We won't forget this. Yeah, weird stuff happens like that. Bit of a coincidence, bumping into one another in this sort of place. <laughs> so tell me, Master Mario, what in the world brings you to this wretched little burg? Hmm? Ah, indeed! Princess Peach sent you a letter and a treasure map. And she told you that she'd meet you here in Rogueport? Intriguing. You're asking me where Princess Peach is? Um, I was about to ask you that. We stopped in this town to acquire a spot of fuel for our ship, don't you know? I only took my eye off her for a moment, and as soon as I did, she vanished. You know how headstrong she is, Mario. I just assumed she'd be back momentarily. But at this point, I fear we must embrace the possibility that she may never return. I've been at a loss as to what to do. I've been fraught with worry, I tell you. But I'm feeling better with you here, Master Mario. Surely we'll find her. Surely. But I know the my place, Master Mario, and this is not it. I leave the task to you. I believe I'll recline in the inn right over there and enjoy a spot of tea, perhaps. In fact, I highly recommend it, particularly if you find your HP heart points running low. Just drop it on in! <laughs> yes, anyways, a little rest with there will fill up all of your HP. I must say, though, the rest of this town is a bit rough. Yes, rough indeed. Huff, I say. Huff, I say. Um, Princess Peach? Did he mean, like, Peach the Mushroom Kingdom Princess? The princess who always gets nabbed by Bowser the Koopa King, the one you rescue? Wait a sec, this is crazy! Princess Peach sent you that treasure map? Whoa, this is really intense. Well, where where could she have gone then, do you think? You think maybe she got sick of waiting and went to find the treasure on her own? Ooh, ooh, I know Mario, come with me! One of my professors is here researching that treasure. He'll show him, or we'll show him your map. If we start looking for the treasure, then maybe we'll catch up to Princess Peach. Great, we're all good then. Let's go, Mario. Goombella joined your party! Goombella's abilities, a primer. Press X to get information about nearby people, places, and objects. This is Rogueport Plaza. It's the center of town in the main business district. It's a crossroads where many people meet, including more than a few shady characters. Anytime you press X when there's no one around, I'll tell you about where we are. That's Goomfer the Goomba. He's always complaining about being swindled or mugged. If you press X when there's somebody nearby, I'll tell you about him or her. So, did you get all that? Goombella can give you hints when she answers, so ask her for information often. And of course, Goombella can be quite helpful in battle, too. She jumps in the air to attack enemies with a nasty head bonk. She can also look up enemy EHP and weaknesses with her title ability. <laughs> so she's basically the Goombario of this game. First off, we gotta go find my professor. Thing is, since I just got to tell myself, I, um, don't actually know where he lives. So keep an eye out. Here's what Professor Frankly looks like. Wow, it's amazing you can tell me what he looks like in that great detail. <laughs> he looks like the Goomba version of Professor E. Gad. So this is our first partner we already get. Sweet. It's Goombella. She's awesome. She's not, not quite as good as Goombario, but she's still awesome. Hey, dude. I'm looking for this guy who defrauded me with a fake credit card the other day. If you find that jerk, give him a wallop for me. Uh, okay, then. Is that Goomfer? That must be Goomfer. Hey, dude. <laughs> you smell that? This smells like a profitable situation? Yes, indeed. Looks like my star is finally starting to shine. Not that it's any of your business. Oh, hey, it's one of the Ralph guys. Professor Frankly? Actually, I think a guy by that name lives over on the east side. Just go east from here. As you enter town from the harbor, just hang a right. So, uh, what about him? Did this guy steal something important from you, or what? And if we go this way... Hey! Freeze! You two! Not another step! Don't come this way! Some complete jerk just bumped into me and made me lose a contact lens. I'm looking for it right now, so don't you dare move! You hear me? Whatever you do, do not move an inch! Not an inch, you hear? So, here's the thing. I don't actually think you can avoid not doing this. Basically, as soon as you do anything, you will step on her contact lens. And I don't think she'll find it unless you do it, so... Squitch. Ah! Idiot! You stepped on it! My poor contact lens! 
I told you not to move! Don't your stupid ears work? What were you thinking? <laughs> this is your fault. Now I have to buy a new contact lens. But you're going to pay for it. Com compensate me, Mr. Clumsy. Fine, if that's your plan, then here's mine, you oaf. I'm gonna block the gate to the west side until you bring me a new contact lens. Yep, and she makes good on that fret. No, look, I'm not letting you into the west part of town until you buy me a new lens. Sorry, but end of story. I can't cook anything without my contact lenses in. Ah! My rage is so hot right now, I could cook you with it. Oh, oh, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here, Mario. Yeah! -ha! Turf war between the Pianta Syndicate and the Robos heating up, apparently. Best stay indoors. And, of course, there's always the backside you can read. Graffiti Corner. I just saw the most beautiful, elegant princess in Rogueport. I think I'm smitten. Podley's best customer. Okay. Well, there's the item shop right here, so... Hey, dude. Welcome, yes. Welcome to the Toad Bros Bazaar. Eh? What's that? You want to contact the ones, you say? Hmm, wait just a moment. I like how they have mustaches. I always thought they had their, like, just big open mouths. Gee, Phil, I'm sorry, but we don't have any in stock right now. Tough luck, I know. I get the special order one right away for you, but it'll take a while. Check back soon, okay? So we'll have to do that after we complete the first world. In the meantime, there's some items for sale. We got mushrooms, replenish 5 HP, honey syrup, which replenishes, replenishes 5 FP, which is basically like our MP in the game. We can do special moves with it. Tasty tonic, which cures poisoning and shrinking and other stuff. Fire flowers, which damages free to all enemies by burning them. Sleepy sheep, which puts enemies to sleep. And then Fright Mask, which can summon a spirit that'll scare away enemies, but you won't get star points for those enemies. And then in this, there are shop prizes. Every time you buy something from my shop, you get a point. You get a certain amount of points, and you get those prizes listed. So if we buy 10 fiends, we get a free mushroom, and lots of other stuff. I doubt we will ever get the final prize, but you never know. Alright, let's explore around a bit more. This is the inn, so there's the lower level, which has the bar. Boy, I used to sail around and run wild in me younger days, but I'm a reformed sailor now. I used to go around exploding all over the place without giving it much thought. Oh, hey, who's this? Ah, what are you doing, sneaking up on a person as he seems most jovially? Who, me, you ask about? Ah, I am called Flavio. I am, how you say, a trader, the richest man in Rogueport. The skull captain casts his gaze, the red jewel shines and plays. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Can't you take a hint, pal? Means scram! Don't talk to me! Oh, fine. Hey, dude. Welcome to you and yours. Have a seat. This is Podley's Place, a humble little cola shop where folks mix stories and drinks. By the by, there's an inn upstairs. When you're weary, go up on it and take a rest. That's the innkeeper, Podley. He looks distinguished, as always, polishing those glasses. I wouldn't mind having a ch cold Chocola Cola sometime and listening to him talk. He opened his inn a long time ago, so he really knows about the townsfolk. Yeah, I remember this lower area. Hey, Turdsworth. Oh, where in the world could that princess have gotten to? This is quite troubling, indeed. That's Toadsworth, steward of P Princess Peach's castle. He's an active senior. He's been really worried about it since Peach went missing. I hope we key and melon of him out. So here's the way the inns work in this. Welcome to the lone refuge in this port of filthiness. Our beds will soothe your soul. It only costs five coins to spend the night. Would you care for a bed? Yeah, no more free inns like in the first game. You gotta pay. Come again. Luckily, we start with 100 coins in this as opposed to zero. So that gives us a nice leg up. Open at 11 a.m. today. This is the bad shop, so that opens up later on. Doesn't do anything now, though. <laughs> you look like you don't know something, so I'll teach you something. How about that? If you press Z, you can check your current HP. I can't believe you didn't know that. If you have low HP, you ought to go rest in and uh, uh, I'm in, so you recover. Use your head. I, I have... I'm missing one HP, that's it. Hey, by the way, Mario, have you saved yet? You see that save block in front of the inn? Since we're here, you ought to save now. Just jump in and hit the block to save, okay? No, I know my way around this game. 
Oops, pardon me, sucker. Hey, what's your beef, pal? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Mario, you gotta wake up. That guy just stole half your coins. That is so lame. Ugh, I hate this town. So what a lot of people don't know is you can actually get your coins back. We go back here. Let's see. Let's explore a bit. Oh! Star piece. Star pieces are a little collectible in this. There were like almost 200 in the first game. There's only 100 in this. And most of the time they're just hidden behind stuff. So just check behind stuff. One cool thing you can do, you can go down here. Hey dude, what's up? Listen, this is a huge secret, but I gotta tell you someone. I'm a wanted Goomba. I was a thief in another town up until about three months ago. Yeah, a good one. But then the heat came down and I needed to hide out, so I came to Rogueport. Now that I told you, you gotta keep it a secret, okay? Heh <laughs> I'm so sly. Sure you are. Man, this place is a dump. This is way lamer than Toad Town. Dane, yesterday I blew through a hundred coins at the parlor. You believe that? But not next time, man. I'm coming back a winner. The odds favor me now. Hmm, I am sorry, dude. So if we go in here, look who it is. Oops! Uh, fancy meeting you here. You're a pretty dang persistent, buddy. What a pain. Fine, fine, okay. You got me. I'll give you your coins back. Here. I thought there was a star piece in here. Maybe not. But I, I like having 100 coins. Look at that giant chest up there. If only we could reach that. Hey. Hey, you big old rube. It ain't smart talking to people that you don't know. You never know when a guy might go nuts and attack. Be careful. Live longer. Hey, it's like Merlin from the first game. What's up? To power up your partner, talk to me from the other side of the table. Well, I don't have anything to power my partner up with. We'll come back when we get Shine Sprites. What's for here? Oh, hi! There you are! Professor Frankly! Rosa? Who's there? Who wants me? Ah, yes. You. Now you, uh... I've seen your face before. Yes, that face. Wait for it. Just a moment. Don't tell me now. Silence! I'll get it right. Um, it's not Goombriel. Er, uh, it's not Elizagoom. Hmm. Erm. Um. Aha! I've got it! You're Goombella, aren't you? You were in my archaeology class last year, am I right? Wow, yes, sir! That's me! I'm Goombella, a junior at Ugoom. Go Goombas! Of course I remember you. Not to toot my horn, but I'm pretty good at remembering. You, though, you stick out in my mind because you were such an exceptional student. And that guy behind you is... Who? Mario! Professor, he's Mario! You know, the famous one. Oh, my apologies. I'm such a bookworm. I haven't a clue about what's hip right now. In any case, what sort of errand brings you two all the way to a place like this? We were hoping you'd tell us about the legendary treasure said to be below Rogueport. I thought that if anyone knew anything about it, you would, Professor Frankly. Of course I know about it. The reason I came here was to study that very subject. But why do you tykes want to learn about the legendary treasure? You know that most say it's little more than a fairy tale, don't you? Archaeologists and historians have to search for truth in those fairy tales, though. Me, I believe the legendary treasure truly does exist, and I really want to find it. Good point, and well made. Well, in that case, I can cooperate with you however I can. First of all, about the treasure, there are many mysteries surrounding it. Some say it's an infinitely vast treasure hoard, while others say it's a magical item. Some books say it's actually a monster, while others say claim it's just an empty chest. So many different theories, obviously it's impossible to divine the truth among them. But I'll agree on one point. To find the treasure, one must have the Crystal Stars! To find the treasure of yore, take the seven Crystal Stars to the Thousand Year Door. You mean the Crystal Stars in that old saying that super elderly people pass down? Indeed, the same. And as the saying goes, if you want to find the legendary treasure, 
You first must collect the seven crystal stars. Hold the magical map aloft before the entrance to the Thousand Year Door. Then the stars will light the way that leads to the stones of yesterday. Yeah. A lot of the lore I've read says that if this magical map is taken to the doorway, then it'll show you where to, where to find the crystal stars. Correct! And the Thousand Year Door is supposedly here, deep beneath this town. Yet the critical piece of the puzzle, the magical map, is lost. If only we had that map! But we do have it, Professor! Or, well, not we, exactly. Mario has the magical map! What?! <laughs> really? You, you actually have it? Could I just take a quick look at it, if you don't mind? I'm still not really sure what voice to give Professor Frankly. I can't give him the Toadsworth voice, though, so... Astounding! This is it! The real thing! The one and only magical map! You, son, are my hero! You're great! Fantastic! Wonderful, even! With this, we can find the Crystal Stars just by holding this aloft before the legendary door! Right on, Professor! Good golly, what are we j doing just sitting here, then? Gumbella! Mario! Off we must go this instant! Let's take this magical map to the legendary door! And now we get uh, Professor Frankly as a kind of sort of partner. I bet you didn't know this Ronald thing came off, did you? Hehe. <laughs> Nice. We can use this pipe to get down under the city streets. Come on, both of you, let's get moving. Oh wait, hang on a second. Mario, something just occurred to me. I'm fairly certain there are quite a few hoodlums below, so uh, keep your guard up. You two do know about your action commands, don't you? Of course I do. Really? A master, are you? Maybe you ought to practice them once, though, just to be safe. Uh, I'm good, thanks. A bold young lad, aren't you? Very well then, down we go! Just stand on the pipe and tilt down to enter it. Oh yes! Man, there's way more talking at the beginning of the game than I thought. That's really all the time we have for this episode, because I'm trying to keep these around a half an hour apiece. Because, honestly, some <laughs> I don't like uploading more than that. Anyways, I hope you tune in for future episodes of this, because yes, this episode was extremely boring and it was just introducing everything, but the, it really picks up next episode. So, hope to see you guys then, thank you so much for watching, and as always, have a great day, and God bless.